A new maintenance is coming later today and you all know what that means, that's right. We are getting a new update with lots of content, so I'm going through all the news and summarize it for you properly so you know what's coming ahead of you. I'm Katsuma Gaming, let's do this gamers. First up, we have a cool information for new people who want to join the game who haven't played so far. Most of them are sadly paywalled, so you need to um, invest a little bit of money at the beginning, but I still think for people who are dedicated to the game or want to have a really good start, these are some great changes and there are also some changes for, you know, non whalers out there, so anyway, still a good thing to have in this game. First up, after the maintenance, we are getting a new butter that guarantees a limited, or that guarantees a 4 star. It costs 3000 pay quarts, so that's fine I guess, because what's in there is really pock. First, it guarantees a 4 star, you have a 1.5 rate for a 4 star, so you have a 6% chance, so there's a good chance you actually get multiple 4 stars. And the big thing is this recruit contains legendary festival special characters. So, here we have a full list of all legendary festival characters that are coming and you can see I think very much until 2.5 anniversaries in there no Fest Dust and Rin and of course no Fest Vanir and Lolisa are in there which is fine they are new once so it makes sense I guess but this is still a great way for new people to have a chance to get Fest Union or get Fest Aqua, Fest Cecily, Lia, Erika, Cielo, Are, all good, even Iris is still good, and of course Fest Chris. Like the only bad ones would be Wiz to get and Megumi and probably Chasm and Darkness. I think these are like the most outdated ones. You can also say Aqua is outdated, but in the same time she's at least still valuable for dungeons and stuff and still a great sub unit to have. So all in all, your chance on getting a good fast unit is really high with that i think this is probably something really cool to offer people if they want to again this is completely optional you don't need to whale but if you want to invest a little bit of money in the beginning to get a head start this is a great tool to get you going even if there's no fast banner currently ongoing then we have the strong start character selection recruit which is also pre pock for 500 pay quarts you can select one character and get one guaranteed force for the character and just get characters of select the character. So for example, if you want Kazuma, I can select Kazuma. I can guarantee at least one Kazuma for that recruit and potentially get some cool free stars along the way. Maybe get multiple four stars out of there. At least one is guaranteed. There's a chance to get more. Um, it does not contain legendary forbidden characters, but it contains some special characters there's no list here but this means there are some limited units in there i would assume which again is good for people to some all the units that are potentially missing or just all the units that are potentially still good for a head star and with that like for 3500 quarts you have a really good chance to get a solid account the only thing i don't know here is if you get a guaranteed fast unit out of there that's the only thing i haven't seen here if they're stated or not so you need to check the recruit table before you do that just to be sure if it's guaranteed that you get one of those i think this is like really really valuable i would highly recommend that and i think it would make sense that one of them is a guaranteed fast unit and here this is just like 500 pay quarts it's not that much you get a guaranteed forester it can be limited i think this is a great deal there is a chance even other people like older players might see this bundle when it drops so if you are down for that you can do that but two great banners for people to start off and besides that we are actually getting a panel mission for new players again i think older people might be able to also get them at least i remember in jp that we got something like that and this is just some bonus rods like large potions to level up stuff stamina beef skip tickets uh bun food and also just a general guide on how to do stuff like make one friend log in do fame quest stuff like that 50 fame potions is like really big this is like really big guaranteed forester ticket is also really cool so 100 fame potions just like that is really really cool and so i kind of hope that we get that because you know 100 fame potions for everyone would be pre-pock and a forester ticket as well i guess and the other stuff are just like mostly for newer people to get their characters rolling so again really really nice changes that we are actually getting stuff for new people to get them in the game and get them rolling with think because I think the most hard part for new people getting into this game is not understanding how the game works, but actually getting to a point where they can compete in the arena and stuff like that. 
and every bit that helps them getting towards that help to understand the different kind of modes things like fin quests and stuff like that all of them are really really great changes to get newer players in by the way i'm not sure if i have mentioned that but there should be timestamps down below so feel free to use them to skip ahead if you don't care about stuff next thing i want to go through is the game news because the game news has quick summary which is we are getting updates for next events and we are getting unique fame craze for lolisa and vanir the maintenance should also last for roughly three hours so not that long but yeah these are just a quick info i think the big one is the update note page because oh boy do we have a lot of info there and we still have more to talk afterwards so let's see what is coming again we said the beginner content is coming that's pretty cool we are getting unique fame traits for lolisa and vanir and to be honest they're bad like vanir heals for 300 if an ally misses vanir can already self-heal it's not like he needs any more healing and you just want more damage anyway so that's bad lisa's on fury is decent you get an eight second moderate damage boost if you start with vanir on the final wave the problem here is there's like not many teams where you kind of want that like there is no good fire vanir there is some of vanir he's fine but not like good and he's mostly there for magical teams while Elisa is there for physical teams you could maybe argue that earth could work there but then again with forbidden whiz and fast vanir coming you just want to use them with darkness all Leah or something like that you're probably not running Elisa there anymore so that's out of the question and like there's just no element even in jp where we ever felt like we need to use that so that's that then of course we're getting to the big thing the 950 day celebration and for people who are confused why do we celebrate 950 days that's just says it's soft way of hiding that this was the third anniversary event in the jp version but since we have a shorter schedule with collab skipping stuff like that the event doesn't line up with the true third anniversary of the global app so to you know make that still something special make it in the proper time slot they just renamed the whole event and now it's called 950 day celebration they did the same thing before with like a 2.5 anniversary and a 2.75 so if you see any like x day celebration that's probably just for that okay so first things first we are getting a metal exchange so there will of course be anniversary coins that we can use to get weapon selection ticket anniversary cake and fame potions nothing too crazy it will update i think with like dungeon crystals which is kind of pocked there's probably also like a four star ticket later in there and a skill potion so you know free stuff always great to have we're getting a celebration episode aka the third any celebration which gives us 3000 free quads that's one free multi that's pretty pock then of course we are getting two story events the first is escape from this virtual city I'm not spoiling too much but based on the title you can see that they just get to a virtual city yes we we're getting into vr gaming here that's right <laughs> um but yeah um, pretty much they just get teleported to tokyo so we have tokyo styled units the welfare of the first part is Kazuma Claw Machine Master, which is kind of cool. Fitting with that, we're actually getting a new login bonus, which is the Destroyer Crane. I tried to edit a video of how it looks potentially because we have something similar right now for the fourth anniversary in JP. This is pretty much just to spin the wheel thing with a different skin. So instead of having a wheel that spins, you have a crane that moves around automatically. You can't manipulate anything there. You just press a button, it moves over grabs a pillow and depending what's on a pillow you get a different amount of pulls there's like a chamosca silhouetted cabbage pillow which is like five pulls then you have like the the bubble kitty drink for like 10 pulls you have like the frog for 20 pulls then we have the lia plushy for like 30 pulls and then the real chamosca plush for like 50 pulls so pretty much the same thing but with a different skin and to be honest i like it more because i know a lot of people get angry from the fact that you have to spinning wheels stop right before the 50 and you're like oh man it could have been the 50 but no it was always determined it's not like you just got lucky there so this just hides it better and just plays with you by showing you the shimosuke silhouette and it's not shimosuke i think it's kind of funny and the plushies look really cool a uh, quick fun fact here that i want to mention the third anniversary event in jp was actually a live event happening and people actually got some of these pillows there in real life and really sad that i don't have them but a uh, small anecdote which is of stuff that happened in the JP side which is really really cool we are getting double free quest drops which is really cool and triple exp for main free event and fan quest so more fan quest 
possibilities sadly not half exp i think it will come later but not for now then we are getting panel mission part one we're getting a login bonus we, we talk about what's in there in a second uh, limited branch event shopping in the virtual city this is kind of like the veneer pit up pop shop with you have two options out of i think there are three possible options you can like hang out with darkness you can hang out with megumin or you can just hang out with yourself i think is like the first one and depending on which you choose you can either get any cake and character medals or you can get some other stuff i'm not sure if there's like anything too crazy in there i think i think we just go with the kazuma one because it can give you beef but of course i will update my encyclopedia soon that you have the real drop table in there so just check that out maybe i can add it here in the video if i do it on time i don't think so so again check out the encyclopedia later today and hopefully it should be there then we get celebration for these legendary adventurers vanir and lisa gift login campaign here's the double treasure drop again and half stamina quest that i talked about dropping on march 26 so more of the end of the month aka probably for the second part of the event yep there it is because the second part will be Escape of the Switchroll City, a new mission with a welfare union, which is really cute. Then, of course, we get a login bonus part two for the second panel, the second panel missions, um, a new limited branch event part two. This time we can hang out with either Aqua, Wiz, or Union, which is really cool and really hard for me because you again need to decide between do you want to hang out with Aqua and Union. Will be tough, but. Again, same thing, you probably just get character shards and cake if you get lucky. If you get the unlucky drop, it's just some other materials. And I think, again, the welfare is probably the best pick. But again, check the encyclopedia for that. I will try to update all of that, hopefully today or tomorrow. Then we get God Blessing on this young goddess, which is... <laughs> okay, okay, here I need to give you a quick info, which is check the date. Check the date and thank god we are actually getting this on april that's 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 so good that's so good because if you don't know what that means it's an april fool's event and it's on april 1st thank god we got that boys and oh boy is that a good one if you haven't seen a shot of mine where i show this off don't spoil yourself just play the event because i think it's a really really funny idea um Quick info there, there are a panel mission, which only lasts for that one day, so make sure you do everything in the panel mission on that day, otherwise you will never get that, so do that, do that, remember that, make make a note in your calendar, don't miss that, it's it's really good, trust me. Another primetime event with event quest double affinity points. Then the next event will be bounty event, elite bounty hunt, the finest dish with the knight of princes, and yes, you can see something new here. Claire. We are getting a new playable unit in this game, which will be Claire after the third anniversary part one and two thing. She will drop. There is a page on my encyclopedia and what she does, but of course I will make a proper guide introducing her. What is her character? What are her skills like? What is her old like and stuff like that? So stay tuned for that. But you know, new characters is always welcome. It's always cool to see. With that, we are getting new panel missions. We getting a new panel mission that she turns to battle more login stuff and of course more login stuff and more login stuff like we are getting a lot of free stuff over the next month pretty much so that's pretty cool um then we come to the recruit part we talk about it later when we go to the recruit step so just quickly overviewing here uh part one will have anniversary megumin anniversary darkness fast vanir and fast lisa then part two will have Ani Aqua and Ani Wiz, as I said before, based on the, you know, limited branch events. Then we get, of course, our new unit, Clara, as a pullable unit. And some article bonus, again, we talked about in a second. And after that, we, of course, have all the Wadel bait, all the new bundles that are dropping. One thing that I want to curious is, yes, we getting a gift of the goddess for 90 days, which is really cool. And I know a lot of people were worried about that. Yes, we are getting a new 90 day bundle, so that's... Probably a pickup for everyone here, not gonna lie. All the other bundles are just like, you know, get crystal lying, get other stuff. There are two other really cool things that are coming that I talk about in the recruit panel, I think. Um, this is also kind of interesting. So to celebrate Claire's release, we are getting some bundles with the upgrade materials for her, including her bond food. 
I guess it's a nice thing to have, but in the same time, with no collapse, you probably still have the apples, uh, the forbidden apples and stuff like that. You can just push her to max without that, so it's really not needed. But you know, in theory, for people who want that, that's pretty cool. Uh, game event, I think, is not really that interesting, besides what is actually in all of these stuff in there so let's just quickly go through them here we have to defeat the prototype earth destroyer so we are getting global missions again with the first event and for that we are getting anniversary cake and caddy release fame potions 30 oh that's pretty nice more animated adults uh 500 cores for free and a guaranteed force recruit for 1 million clear so please guys clear your daily bosses we need to reach the 1 million clears please i want that ticket uh, first login campaign here is the crane login bonus. As I said before, you can get a 5, 10, 20, 30 or 50 pulls. We are getting a guaranteed 30 or 50 pull on day 10 and the guaranteed 50 pull, that's pretty cool, on day 21. So everyone will at least get one free 50 pulls. The worst case pretty much is that you at least get the 80 pulls out of there. If you get someone lucky, that's alone 100 pulls. And then of course, through all the other days, you can get more. So that's easily 100 plus free pulls. And while the odds of getting something in there is not that great, it's especially great for new people, keep that in mind. And of course, you still get all the character shards out of that. So if you haven't maxed out any characters, this is a great thing. And again, keep in mind, in the future, we are getting higher shard levels. So just having more shots for that is pretty cool. Request, double treasure, uh, we talked about it, nothing too crazy. Panel missions part one, let's check that out. We get anniversary cake, stamina beef, medals, honey cake, skip tickets, medals, honey cake, adventurer potential, that's pretty cool. Legendary Charlix and a surely selection ticket. Again, more good for new people, not for us since no new G release in there, but we you know that's fine. And at least for login bonus part one, we have some information. We're getting guaranteed for a star ticket, upgrade materials, honey cake, EXP potions, upgrade materials, honey cake, and last but not least, 300 quarts. Now let's get to the big one, the recruits. There will be a banner guide dropping later where I talk fully about the units and if you should summon this banner. It will have a little bit more details and be a little bit longer, so I hope you appreciate that because I want to give you all the info you need to decide on if you want to pull on that or not. The really interesting thing here is first up the side ones and the new summon type that we are getting. And I hype it up more than this because, spoiler, it's step up. The first thing or the first two big things here are we are getting Legendary Adventure Festival Selection Ticket, one for us to guarantee. With a long, long list of selectable units, pretty much. All the units up until Ninja Melissa will be selectable in this recruit. So if you are missing some older permanent units that you think are great, you know, that's that's your chance of picking them up. I think that's really, really cool that you have a chance to get them. Melissa's passive trade stuff is in there. There's the mate Leah. Just check through what's interesting for you there, what you don't have, and if you want to do that. It will cost you 2,000 quarts. And again, you will get a multi with that and afterwards the ticket so you have a six percent chance to get already a force out of that plus the ticket i don't think it's too bad of course it's paid quarts, so you need to wail but if you're down for that that's pretty cool the bigger one for me is this one down here which which will be legendary adventure festival character selection ticket included one force guaranteed recruit this is the same name as that one up there i think it's a little bit longer but um <laughs> anyway it costs three thousand quarts it costs a little bit more in exchange for that, we are actually getting a selection ticket for just limited units that you potentially want. So for example, Halloween Kamiku is really interesting for me, the water passive trade provider. We have Christmas, Union and Megumi, really cool. And of course, Iris and Ara. We have New Year Wiz in there and Vanier. We have Valentine's Kamiku in there if you're missing that and Valentine's Erika. So, you know, some pretty newer ones, good limited units. Sadly, of course, new darkness, Valentine, stuff like that. They are too new. And I think it would piss people off if right after the banner, we are getting a way to get them for pretty much just 3,000 pay quarts. So uh, it makes sense they're not in there. But, you know, two bundles to get two limited units that you're potentially missing out that you want is really, really cool. I really appreciate that. Then, of course, as I said before, the step up recruit. Step up recruits are 
pretty much what they describe if you don't know what that means is you have multiple steps you start at step one and the higher you go the better the butter kind of gets so we're starting off pretty simple step one is a 10 recruit with like nothing guaranteed besides 20 any cake but it only costs 500 pay quarts in exchange for that the second recruit is free also you know same recruit with free any quarts by the way there's no rate up on these i think there's no rate up only on step three or four we actually start to get rate up uh step i think step four is actually where it starts right up here so step three also has no rate up but for a thousand quarts you get a guaranteed four star on step four you have two thousand pay quarts it has a rate up no guaranteed four star but a skill potion and then of course the big one step five three thousand pay quarts but it's a 10 recruit with um no Guaranteed four star, but of course the rate up and a new character guaranteed recruit ticket, which means you can use that ticket to get one of those four units randomly. It's not a selection, and it doesn't care if you have one of these units already. You pretty much have a one in four chance to get each of these units. So in theory, you have a 50-50 chance to get one of the fast units, and you have a 50-50 chance to get one of the anniversary units. And I, I'm Still not sure if I would recommend it. I pretty much you're wasting uh, seven thousand five hundred quarts here, paid quarts, of course, which is not too bad. But the big thing here is, of course, to get one of these units guaranteed. So that's that. But in the same time, if you want to pull on these spanners, for example, for both legendary units, there's a good chance you just get most of them anyway, and it doesn't really matter. But you know, if you like, oh, I just want to see if I can do that, maybe snipe out the fast one here and then just skip the whole banner, then it's potentially good. Since it's a 1 in 4 chance, so a 25% chance to get the unit you want. And, you know, in theory, out of those two multis, you can also get one of these units. So there is that. There is a chance that it's good, but there's also a chance that it doesn't matter. For example, from my experience, when I did this in JP, I got fast one here, was like, oh cool, let's go. Now we have one of the fast units with like the lower rates. So now I just need fast Elisa and what happened? I got two other fast one years on the way to getting fast Elisa with like 230 pulls into the banner. So <laughs> in the end, this was scam for me, it did nothing for me. But you know, if you get lucky, it might potentially be good for you. One last info, you can only do the step up banner once. So the moment you reach step five and this step five, this banner is just gone. There will be other step ups in the future where you can then do them multiple times, but this one is only once. And last but not least, this is actually a 6% rate to get a 4 star, so if you don't mind getting some permanent units, even these free multis can be interesting for you. We also, of course, getting like the special set recruit, aka the 2k multis that gives you a skill potion. I think you can do them again five times. We are getting a legendary festival special character guaranteed recruit ticket, part one. So and again, another multi that you do that gives you a ticket. And with the ticket, you get one of these units randomly. The new Lolisa is in there, but not the Vanir. Because it's part one. There's probably part two with Vanir in there. Besides that, you can get Aqua, which is good. Megumin, Meh, Wisma, Chris, really good. Erika, Cielo, Rin, Dust, all good. So the chance of getting something good here if you're missing all of them is pretty high. Part two will probably have then, um, you know, Vanir. Darkness, Kazuma, Union, Iris, stuff like that. Leah is missing here. Um, also pretty good if you're missing them. And I think part two might just be better, to be honest, since I don't really see too many bad units that you can get there. I mean, yes, maybe Kazuma, you can say in Darkness, are like the bad ones, but uh, you also have pretty much just two bad here. So it's fine but um again if you have most of them i don't really think these are worth it because while you have a one two three four five six seven eight nine one in nine chance that's like <laughs> it's like a 10 percent chance right to get lolisa i think just pulling on a normal banner has the higher chance of getting that but of course if you get lucky that's something and last but not least we talked about that the crane recruit nothing too crazy no rate up, nothing guaranteed, just free pulls as like spin the wheel. Okay, um, I think the last set that I haven't checked out is the game product pack again. Gift of the Goddess, grab that. Otherwise, if you need some bonus quartz, there are some pretty good bundles. 
I think this is pretty fine. Guaranteed four star, 12,000 paid quarts and stuff like that for $65. If you have the money, of course, don't don't buy bundles if you don't have the money. But if you have the money, I think that's a pretty decent bundle if you don't have any other good bundles left. But of course, as usual, just grab the quest booster, level booster packs first. And after that, you can start going towards these kind of bundles. But yeah, um, that's a 28 minute video talking just about all of these updates, and stuff like that. So you can see there's a lot of stuff coming. Sadly, sadly, no information regarding new ThinQuest stages and ThinQuest skipping, which I kind of hope for. But, you know, once the update is out, once the maintenance is out, we of course can check a little bit more firmly if we see any hints towards that. At that point, I also want to mention in a YouTube video, because people asked me that quite a bit, when do we expect ThinQuest skipping to come out? And I say it again. Fanquest skipping came out around the summer event this year, so worst case, it should be like June, July when we get it. But I kind of hope that we maybe get it earlier as usual with the global version that we are getting updates earlier. So there's a good chance that between pretty much now, aka third anniversary and the summer event, we are getting the next Fanquest stage. And shortly or just with that together, we're getting Fanquest skipping. So stay tuned for that. But um, music already ended because my phone turned off. Sorry for that. But I still hope you enjoyed this video and this helps you out. If it did, like, subscribe, follow for more content. And see you all either later for the banner guide or just in the next one. Bye, guys.